Right then, let's try and not make it five losses on the bounce today. We're at home to Stoke. And this one, personally, is a pretty big game. I go to uni in Stoke. So if we lose today, not only is it going to be five losses on the bounce, I, I, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Just for a bit of context, we lost 4-0 at home to Stoke last season. And that was with the team we had then. So anyway, off to the pub to meet a few lads uh, before the game. And to be honest, I think all hope and expectation I had at the start of this season has just absolutely faded away after these past four games we're coming into a game against a team that beat us 4-0 last season with arguably the best squad i've ever seen play for coventry city off the pitch today is also remembrance day it's the 105th anniversary of the end of the first world war so there will be a moment silence before the game paying respect to all the soldiers and all the sacrifices that have been made so the team is out and jake bidwell is starting today oh the tweet it quotes the famous song, Jake Bidwell, Jake Bidwell, Jake Bidwell. Oh, there's a bit of a bubbly. I did only want to comment on Jake Bidwell, but I've also seen Ben Wilson's not in the team. Brad Collins is in goal. Playing a 4-3-3 as well. Sims, Godden and Wright all up front. So we'll just see how it goes. Completely different formation, but it's kind of how we played second half last week. So hopefully it works. And hopefully Bidwell has a great game. So I went in the here we are then, in the ground. So, so we're looking up to a score there. Good run. Ball finds Bidwell, puts a good cross into the box. Sims headers it. Very close, very close. Oh, yeah. Good bit of room from that, oh, yeah. Gordon. Good save from Jack Bonham. Put a bit of pressure on him. First man is beaten. Oh! That's a good run from the right hand side. Josh Eccles puts the ball into Haji Ryan. Nowhere to be seen. There you go, half time. From C0, Stoke C0. Both teams have been fairly poor to be fair. We've had like two or three good chances. There was one point where Josh Eccles squares the ball to Haji Ryan, and it's just probably about a second too late. I mean, we're playing the Mooks at half time. Apparently, when the Mooks play, we win. So, other than that, as a positive, I think we've looked all right, but we're playing against Stoke and I can't really judge them because they're such a hit and miss team in this division. I mean, Matty Goddard, to be fair, had a couple of decent chances. One good save by Jack Bottom, the other goes over the bar. But we've just put one of those chances away and I'm telling you something completely different at half time, saying we're winning and there's positives to take from it. So, second half, let's just, you know, go out, put a bit of pressure on them and hopefully we can win the winning game. Right, we're finally getting some half relevant. Half time entertainment, they're showing highlights from a game I remember in my lifetime. And Michael Mixon 
the other side of the pitch getting interviewed, I won't be able to hear a word he's saying. What they should have done is had Mifford do kick it for a ticket. Then I would have felt a bit more entertained. But one of them. Annoyingly, we're shooting all the way up there, which is never a good second half. Straight into the wall. All that time for it to hit the wall. We need to make a couple of changes. We're not decent to be fair. Stoke have really only had one chance in the second half. Andre Vidigar, four yards out, misses an overhead kick. Other than that, I think both teams again look a bit better. We look a bit better second half to be fair. Maybe bring Sakamoto all over there on a bit of creativity. And uh, could change the game, but it's been a tight affair. There you go, first two changes in the game. Jamie Allen and Alex change of formation, obviously taking off Sims and putting Roy and Godden up front, Sakamoto and O'Hare probably playing a little bit behind, but a bit of creativity is all we really need in this game. 20 minutes left to go. Good save, Colin. Brilliant. Ah. Well, he's going for right. Hit it. Just hit it. Side then. How many chances does he take to score? Come on, Godden. Go on, Matty. Play backwards. Yeah, well, at least Bidwell puts a cross in. Here we go, Bidwell taking a corner. Now this man's crosses have been unbelievable today. Just like that one. Oh! Don't pick up for God. This man bullies children, right? Any decent fan base. He was up here last week trying to get children kicked out. Good Bidwell. Big class today. Scruffy game, look. Challenge is going in, that's quite incessant. She's not happy about that one. Just over a minute left of normal time. Feels like this game's going to be a nil-nil, but after four losses on the bounce, probably a good result. I mean, defensively, we've been so solid. The back four's been great. I think this system, this formation, is probably going to take a couple of games to really get going, but we do look a lot better than we have over, you know, the first 10 games of this season. Said last attack and probably about a minute left. Stoker on the attack now. Well played, that call. Well played. Go, go. Go on, Sakamoto. So end to end, dying at a moment to this game. There we go, Stoke the Sword to sing. This will probably be the last thing that happens this game. Linda Gooch on a free kick. Headed away. And the referees give it full time. I don't know how you can boo that one. Coventry City sitting there, Stoke City now. Look, I'm going to listen to Robbins later when he tells us it's a process and we're still a few weeks beyond like he has for the past month or so. But when you change your formation, you're changing your playing squad. Today, look, a lot better than the past four games. To come away with a point against Stoke, who started the season well, coming off three wins on the bounce as well, they beat the Lions to Leeds. So, you know, all respect to Stoke, they're a decent side. And, you know, Millwall in a couple of weeks, we've got a week's break. Eventually, things are going to start to clip. I don't see us finishing anywhere near as high as we did last season. But, look, at the end of the day, solid performance. Well, we made it back to Stoke in one piece. And uh, I don't think, you know, all the Stoke fans I spoke to on the way about, they, they weren't happy with a point. And to be honest, from their recent form, they got a draw at Cardiff and three wins before that. They probably expected a bit more playing against us. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, please do show some appreciation by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Not a clue what I'm doing next week. Really indecisive. The game I was going to go to 
has now been called off due to international breaks as well. Also a shout out to uh, my man of the match today, Jake Bidwell, just unbelievable. Weeks and weeks and weeks, people saying I had a agenda and it was just favouritism. Best player on the pitch today.